Air conditioning system protectors. There are several types that you'll want to be aware of to protect your investment on your new split system air conditioner or heat pump. First one I want to talk about here are filter dryers. They come in two different types. There's a liquid line filter dryer and there's a suction line filter dryer. Well, what are they? The purpose of them is to clean the refrigerant, which is circulating around in that air conditioning system. Why would it need to be cleaned? Well, if you're replacing an existing air conditioning or heat pump system, then contaminants can get in the system, such as little shavings from the pipe. Also, there could be moisture in the system. Now, why do we care about that? We don't want any moisture to mix with the refrigerant. If there's moisture in the refrigerant, because of the humidity in the air, for example, when the system was being installed, that will combine with the refrigerant to create an acid. And that acid will, in fact, over time, it might take a year or two, wear down the varnish on the windings in the compressor and ruin that new air conditioner or heat pump. So it's a serious potential problem. And the resolution is this. Now, a liquid line filter dryer comes pre-installed in every new heat pump or air conditioner system. If the system is open, meaning if the pipes are cut by a technician at some point to service it, then that existing liquid line filter dryer will need to be replaced and a new one put in instead. We also have another type here, and this is for the suction line, and this would filter out the uh, particulates or acids or moisture from gases entering into the compressor. Both of these types solder in place, usually outdoors in the line set. And, uh, Keep note of the uh, arrows which indicate on them which way the refrigerant is flowing and make sure you install it the right way. And uh, this type, this suction line filter dryer is particularly important and needed when replacing an existing air conditioner or heat pump condenser, a split system type that's outside, and you're keeping the indoor equipment in place. So you're going to be using the existing line set or the existing evaporator coil. Because that existing equipment's in place, there could be contaminants. We need to filter those out, and that's why we need an extra filter dryer in place, especially if we know that the compressor had burned out on the old system that was being replaced. When I say burned out, I mean if there was an electrical short in that compressor, if your technician had known that and indicated such, that electrical burnout will create what's called phosgene gas, which is an acid, which will, like the moisture, create uh, a detrimental effect on those varnish windings. And over a period of time, one to two years, if that gets into the new system, it will destroy it. Critical to have these in place to protect that new system. Now, even if these are in place, how do we know if the refrigerant is clean and safe? We use one of these, and this is recommended to be purchased. It's called a refrigerant safety indicator. And it's a very genius and clever little device that solders in place with the liquid line and it will simply change color to indicate the health of the refrigerant. We want the refrigerant to be dry, and it will indicate such by changing color if it's dry to match the colors as indicated on the outside ring, or that center dot will change to indicate that it is moist, in which case there's a problem. So you could simply look at that periodically and see the health of the refrigerant. If there's a problem, if there's moisture, call your service technician, and he'll come out and he'll fix that problem. That way you'll know in advance before a problem occurs. Another air conditioning system protector is a high temperature drain pan that you'll want to purchase if you're installing a split system air conditioner or heat pump in conjunction with an oil furnace. Now, if you're installing an air conditioner or heat pump in conjunction with a natural gas or propane furnace, you won't need to purchase it. However, an oil furnace can run temperatures in excess of 300 degrees and that could melt the drain pan, which comes normally installed on the evaporator coil. So purchase the high temperature one instead, which is made out of high temperature plastic so it won't melt, by simply unscrewing and removing the existing drain pan off the evaporator coil and screwing this one in place instead and simply dispose of or discard the original one. Keep in mind, manufacturer recommends even still once the high temperature drain pan is installed that the evaporator coil be installed about six to eight inches away from the oil furnace. So keep in mind these air conditioning system protectors as an inexpensive insurance policy when installing your new split system heat pump or air conditioner. Mm -hmm.